So, Brittany? Yes. What do you think Eric's greatest failure has been? Oh. That's a really good question. Shoot, that you would love to answer, actually. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Hmm. Actually, you know, I don't know if I necessarily can think of your greatest failure, if I'm honest with you. I, no, I will tell you what. One time, we were roommates. I'm sorry, I'm telling this story. Okay. And I said, <laughs> I said, I, this, I was like, actually, no, this is actually very generous on Eric's part. I was living in Michigan for a while with my parents, and I wanted to move back to New York, and Eric called me, and he was like, uh, I heard you have a boyfriend, and you don't have a job, so... <laughs> Do you want to come live with me? I was like, sure, actually, that's nice. So uh, I stayed with him and our other friend, Jason, and I was on their futon in the living room. And so at night, I would hear, like, little feet. I was like, <laughs> Eric's little feet? Yeah, no, 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 Is little feet. tiny feet? They had very strange neighbors that were upstairs. Oh, okay. And they were doing, I don't know what they were doing, but they had some, they had some little friends, some little pest friends. So I heard little feet, and I was like, Eric, I was like, there are mice in this house. And he was like, no. They were both like, no, 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 no. It's just in your brain. Like, you don't know what mice sound like. I'm like, I, there's mice in this house. And then eventually the problem escalated and they ignored it. And then out to, there was one morning where a mouse came out the refrigerator and we all hopped up on the furniture and I was crying. <laughs> and that I would say is Eric's biggest failure. He did not believe me the first time. That was actually really nice. I mean, yeah, it was a, like a month long campaign actually to get rid of those mice. Uh, <laughs> it was it was intense. Did you succeed? Yeah. Eventually, we like whittled it down. It was it was actually really kind of sad too because we would be sitting like in the room and I know you were not really supposed to use these traps, but uh, all of a sudden you would just we'd be talking and you hear just like, oh, and everybody's like. And then you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. like, we got another one. Oh. And yeah. it's like, you got to figure out how to deal with it. It was a lot. It was like stressful for everyone. For me, I yeah. imagine it was stressful for them, you know. Not for uh, long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot. You know, it's, we live in an urban environment. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> it's sometimes, it is what it is. yeah, yeah you have friends. Yeah. But right. the, once the people got evicted, then the situation changed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No more mice. No more mice. Things got no. better. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a great apartment, actually. I, yeah. I think that, you know, just a word on my, mouse, mice trap, mouse traps, um, they're cruel and horrible, but, yeah. you know, people say, you know, it's impossible to make a better mouse trap. Like, at least they're quick and they work, you know? Yeah. So that yeah. there's not, so yeah. they are sort of the perfect life hack if you're a murderer. Well, yeah. 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 As, as I now am. Yeah. I yeah. mean, <laughs> if it's me or mice... Yeah, I'm gonna choose me. After yeah. the refrigerator, though, it was like all that stuff. Inside a refrigerator. Well, yeah. The thing is, is that like they're smaller than they look. They can fit in oh, very yeah. small spaces. Uh, the thickness of they a can, dime. Can they squeeze in? Literally. They can, they can. So that's the thing. The, the refrigerator was like, you know, slightly ajar. To a human, nothing. To a mouse, <laughs> lifetime of everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You living with any rodents? Oh, wow. What's that? You living with any rodents? No, not currently. Okay, good. <laughs> I should state for the record, neither this, one of us are living with mice currently. This was a long time ago. This, this was like, like six or seven years ago. Yeah, okay. One We've thing upgraded. that I love knowing about mice is that they truly are almost blind, and so that they always go along the floorboards, so like they're always on the outside, unless they're in the fridge, and then they love, you know, because it's so bright and they can see everything yeah. in there. But they also are most active around sunset, which I find... Like kind of endearing, like they sort of like come alive after five. Yeah. I love that you have all these mouse facts. Oh, I, I, I do you there. have more mouse facts? Been, no, no, that, that's there. that's about it. Right. I, although the, the thickness of a dime just still gets me, like because yeah. they can flatten their bones out. I could have used all this back then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, Eric, it's your turn. What's what's Britney's biggest failure? What is Britney's biggest failure? I'm so curious. To In know. your estimation, uh, let's see. I might not be as generous as you, but uh, what's new? <laughs> <laughs> no, I guys, think, don't fight. Let's or see. fight. Uh, was it, I would say the motorcycle dealership. Though. Oh my god! <laughs> I used to work at a motorcycle dealership, and, and it was like a job. Oh it was a job you didn't particularly like. You no. know, you sometimes you take jobs because you're like, this is this is I'm I building a career, and sometimes you take jobs. You're like, I need a job, and so uh, Brittany took this job. She was working there, and she was like, I kind of get on my nerves. And then she hated it for a long time. And then didn't they let you go? They fired me. They fired you. They actually said when they were firing me, they were like. You are probably the smartest person that works here, <laughs> but you cannot do this job. And then, and then they let me go. Actually, yeah. no. First, they started bringing in somebody else with, under my exact same job title without telling me. And they were like, "Just come in like three days a week." And then one day, I came in to get like a paycheck or something, and there was this other girl. <laughs> I was like, "Who is this?" Yeah, no. 
<laughs> so they knew, but yeah, no. Okay. I wasn't, yes. It was my full-time job. I worked there for a year. It was very strange. Yeah, was but, that, did that feel like a real failure to you? Because it seems like, forgive me, but like they're telling you you're really smart. You're too smart for the motorcycle yeah. dealership. <laughs> they and were saying is, that to be nice. <laughs> they were saying that to be nice. I, I mean, I, I, were they saying it just to be nice? I, I, I mean, I don't think they were saying it to be nice. Thank I mean, you. I, you know, I work with you all the time and... There are other things that I don't like about you, but your intelligence is like it's not one of them. So yes, I think I think they were actually telling the truth, but it, you you weren't that committed to it. But you were. Really well, what were you kind of doing bummed. at the motorcycle dealership? I when was you the marketing selling? manager. Oh. Okay, okay. So you weren't selling so the primarily. Hogs. You weren't on the no, floor. No, 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 no. Primarily, I was there. Oh, the thing that I will say was nice about it. I was in this room with no windows, and I. Mostly just like I had this coworker named Joanne. She still works there to this day. She's a super sweet lady. If you're ever at the Harley Davidson on Northern <laughs> Boulevard in Queens, tell Joanne Brittany sent you. She'll know who it was. She was like this 72. I live year right old. near there. You do? Yeah. Oh my God. No, no, no. There's a really good empanada mama. There's a great empanada place. Oh, you don't there. have to tell me about the empanada mama on set on Northern <laughs> Boulevard. The one on Northern. Yeah, no, that was yeah, like, yeah. I was. It's up on like 81st Street or something like that. <laughs> Look at that That's real connection. What, the real connection. <laughs> Twenty four yeah, hours. It was yeah no. If you look, go see Joanne. She was awesome, but she was like maybe seventy. I think she's probably in her early seventies when I was working with her, and that was like my best friend. It was her, and then Rosalie would come in two days a week and do the books, and the three of us were back there. So Rosalie was like this older Italian lady, and like Joanne was like this old lady. I think like I think she she always said her family was from the old country, which I think was Hungary, and she was from the Lower East Side. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like, those are my homegirls. So like, I, I mostly talk to them. I don't remember doing a lot of work. So the scene is you, you have a boyfriend, you're living in a rodent infested home with, with Eric and you're infested working at the- Infested is strong. I, wait, did you say how- <laughs> Infested is strong. Wait, they were in the refrigerator. He said you have a boyfriend in your job, I did right? have a boyfriend, that's right, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. She used to just talk. I was giving all you that much. I used to talk on the phone. Yeah. yeah. I Eric lot. didn't know. We before we had lived together, we didn't know. I didn't know that he even watched sports because it doesn't come up with me. So I, I would get up in the morning and he and Jason would just be like ironing stuff and watching. Is it some guy's name Mike and Mike or Mike something? And Mike. Well, that's not on anymore. I don't know who the hell that is. <laughs> it was on all morning. It drove me insane. And they didn't know that I talked on the phone to my boyfriend twenty four seven. She had a she had a actual uh, it was attachment. A phone it was attachment. a phone attachment. Plug into your iPhone. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. And I would and talk. Like the hand, like the yeah, like yeah. an old fashioned one. It, and I would take yeah. it to the bodega. Like I would just go for walks in the neighborhood with my little phone attachment. It was it was all the time. It was all the time. That whole that actually was a that was actually a high point though. Before then, it was like the twenties. The whole my whole twenty. I just turned thirty one. My whole twenties. Eric actually will say. It was dicey. We got there, though. Yeah. You know? We did it. Yeah. But look where it brought you. Look, exactly. So yeah. was it a failure, truly? Did you fail? At the time, yeah. yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. 